Hey guys, this is Giridhar here. So I have this Xiaomi Mi3 here with me. So let me go ahead and uh, talk a little more detail about this device. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the device and it's going to be a detailed review. The Xiaomi Mi3 is available in India uh, through exclusively through Flipkart. Uh, it's uh, the 16 GB cost uh, 39.99. 64 GB uh, we have no idea whether it will be available in India or right or not. So right now I have the um, metallic grey. Uh, uh, this is the only color option available for, through Flipkart. You can see uh, the build quality is uh, really really good. I, have, I love this device. I love the feel of it. I love how the device neatly fits into my palm. Um, it, it's not completely made of metal. Um, but I think it's made of plastic um, with molded metal. I'm not, sure, I'm not exactly sure about uh, the actual material that's been used here. But I, I don't have any issues with it. I've, it feels really, really um, solid. It, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It doesn't feel like a normal Chinese mobile. So it feels like almost you're holding an Apple device there. So you can see it from the details of how they have paid attention to the speaker grill. It's been missioned in here and the USB port. It's been carved neatly in the device and the metallic buttons and uh, the curves and the attention they are paid to the detail it's, it's a fantastic design I would say so um, on the top you find uh, the 3.5 mm audio jack and you also find the uh, sim tray and there's a mic the mic is used for recording audio and I had some issues with the sim tray so I am not really a fan of uh, the uh, mini uh, SIM tray design because every time you want to change a SIM card, you must go hunt for a SIM, I mean a, a small pin or a SIM uh, tray, uh, SIM tray key. Um, I I would rather prefer like if you press this, this this uh, entire tray must pop out, and you mustn't rely on a small key or a small pin there and particularly with this device uh, inserting uh, the uh, sim pin and uh, taking out the tray was really difficult for the first time and I had to push it really hard I was even afraid I, I might break it but uh, it didn't break uh, anyway it worked nicely and on the left side you have uh, the volume rocker button and the power button and at the right side there is nothing at the bottom you have the USB charging port plus the data transfer port and you have the speaker grills there there's nothing much and uh, at the back you have uh, the 13 megapixel camera which is assisted by a dual LED flash and also a mic to record audio when you are recording your video so apart from that uh, there is nothing much in the back except for the MI logo and uh, insignia which says made in China proudly and the front you have the uh, 5 inch display um, on top of the display you have the MI um, logo and you have the proximity and ambient light sensor along with the uh, earphones for your telephony and there is a 2 megapixel front facing camera which is really good um, and at the bottom you have the uh, capacitive uh, touch screen buttons so these buttons are actually used to navigate uh, the android features like the um, home button the back button and the uh, menu button there so that's about uh, the front design so this is how the device looks like and it uh, 
feels really good but only complaint i would i have here is the grip is not really good sometimes it feels like a slow uh, a wet soap that might slip out of your hand and especially this device being as large as a five inch uh, device uh, it, it needs more grip for me to hold it so i'm gonna buy a case or something like that which has more grip and which can fit on top of it anyway that's gonna spoil the design of this device but i have no other option i have uh, i need a solid grip on my device otherwise i might drop it and i might break it so that's the uh, that's what i'm gonna do um, but uh, otherwise I have no issues with the design, it really feels a premium here to hold it and use it. They might have copied Apple to an extent but I wouldn't say it copied, I have been inspired from Apple and the inspiration has come out really well here. In terms of the dimensions, the, this device is 144 millimeters in um, height and its breadth is around 73.6 millimeters which is around 7.3 uh, centimeters and thickness does matter here uh, it is very thin it's just uh, a little over 8 um, millimeters there and weighs a little over 145 grams and uh, it's not a bulky device so uh, that's a that's a nice design there the display we get with the mi3 is uh, about 5 inch in size it's not a, a small device to hold in a hand. Um, it, it is uh, quite long and large to fit in, uh, fit in a single hand. Sometimes you need to have uh, both your hands for a better operation. And, uh, but the screen is IPS LCD screen and uh, it's got, it supports 16 million colors and it's got a resolution of uh, 1080 by uh, 1920 which makes it a full HD display and it's got a uh, pixel density of uh, approximately 441 which is very similar to what we get in the Nexus 5 but this device is also got a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection very brilliant uh, display I would say uh, right now I am in direct sunlight so you can see how the display is and how legible the letters are and how you can read easily uh, all the uh, small fonts in there This device has got the speakers uh, placed at the bottom, so there are no speakers at the back or on the sides. So it's got the speakers only at the bottom here, which makes it a mono speaker. And uh, the speaker grills are neatly designed, um, but the speakers are not really loud. And they are decent enough for uh, gaming, but if you watch a movie or if you listen to, if you're a fan of listening to audio using your um, phone's uh, inbuilt loudspeakers this device is not is not going to meet your uh, needs so uh, i would recommend it connecting to an external uh, speaker using the 3.5 mm jack for a better audio and uh, also uh, this device has got usb otg or uh, support out of the box which means that you can expand the 16 gb memory in it by connecting a uh, uh, otg cable there so let me uh, go ahead and connect my OTG do, uh, USB to So this device is called a 16 GB of storage internal memory and uh, you can see that it's uh, I have some 10 GB of storage available but I would want to increase it uh, by connecting uh, USB OTG so here it is my OTG cable which is already connected to uh, 8GB pen drive sorry it's a 4GB pen drive there so you can see that uh, the storage from my USB uh, is directly reflected in my uh, device here so it says the available is uh, ex expanded by 4 GB and I've tried mounting up to my 32 GB and it works perfectly fine if you want to remove it you I recommend you to go safely re remove your USB so that it unmounts it first and then remove and you are okay to uh, remove it so just click on the safe remove and it means that USB storage is safe to remove and it's uh, unmounted here and you can go ahead and, and plug it 
So talking about performance, uh, this device has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800. So though the processor is, is about a year old now, so it's still this, it works like a charm in this device. It's got a dedicated graphic processing unit, the Adreno 330. Uh, the CPU is uh, clocked at 2.3 GHz and uh, the architecture is uh, great. In my test, uh, it shows around 26063, but I have seen tests where uh, this uh, Xiaomi Mi 3 ex exceeds even 36,000. So I would say it's uh, it's really great uh, performer. It results for Need for Speed. It clocked uh, the 60 frames per second easily and uh, for powerboard tracing uh, it clocked around uh, 30, uh, 31 frames per second. And, and when it, the resources consumed was not exceeding uh, even 40% at that time and uh, the graphic, uh, the graphic uh, processor, processor was also not exceeding 70% uh, while the gameplay. Uh, I would say the, normally these devices, these games consume a lot of uh, CPU and uh, gra graphics processing unit but uh, in this device there was ample memory left and ample resources left out for other processes to happen in the back end, in the, in the background, and still you can have a smooth gaming experience. So let's talk about the camera. The camera in Xiaomi Mi 3 is a 13 megapixel camera. So it is assisted by a dual LED flash, and it it can click pictures in resolution of 4128 by 3096 and it's autofocus autofocus works like a charm so there are two ways to open up the camera in Xiaomi Mi 3 one is to hit the uh, camera icon from the app drawer here or you can uh, go to the camera application from the home screen by swiping up and which launches the camera directly there for you so the camera interface is pretty simple so you, there's one switch to switch to your primary camera and your front facing camera and here you have uh, this button to toggle between uh, the camera mode and the video recording mode and here you have a button to uh, switch on switch off flash and you have an uh, options wherein you can choose uh, skin tones which you can enhance skin tones I am not a fan of a uh, big fan of enhancing the skin tones so I would leave it there and you have the um, button which says audio which essentially means that uh, you can clap or um, you can make any noise uh, which can activate the camera shutter here and also there's a HDR mode and the panorama mode works like a, uh, works really good and there are a number of filters available there so you can see a quick preview of how the picture will look like if you use any of these filters and apart from that, once you close the filter, you have access to settings. So there are multiple settings there. The camera frame, which can be a standard 4 is to 3 ratio or even a full screen, which is uh, 16 is to 9. And uh, picture quality can be standard or high quality or low quality. And you can choose a store location, and which I think... Uh, no, it isn't, it's not choosing the stored location, it's giving you information about the stored location like the folder path and things like that and you have an uh, option to enable the volume button as a shutter and also there are, you can switch on switch off the sounds for uh, ca the camera's uh, shutter and you have, this, op this camera has got a neat feature uh, if you put in a QR code there, it automatically uh, scans it. You need not install another application to do that. So, and you can do a time timing watermark. There is a button to, uh, if you long press the shutter, you can do a burst mode shooting, and you can also enable the reference line, which is which shows you. Uh, all this information reference line here so what this line does uh, essentially means is there is a concept of rule of uh, rule of thirds in, 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 in photography so you have to place your subject somewhere in one of these four intersecting uh, points here so okay so let me try and put a QR code before there so, ok 
okay so there is a qr code so in the moment i i, I put the qr code there uh, the camera identifies it to be a qr code and it says see details so i can go and see the details of the qr code right and uh, this camera is capable of recording videos uh, full hd videos and even the front facing camera is capable of recording full hd videos while the camera sensor is made from made by sony so i have no uh, information about the actual lens there so I, and uh, there is no optical image stabilization uh, which I would love to have see in a device like the Xiaomi Mi 3 uh, But otherwise this camera quality is really good. So I'm gonna post a detailed review of uh, uh, the camera specific uh, camera quality Well in terms of battery um, This uh, device has a lithium-ion battery which is rated at 3050 uh, mAh and its user it, it can't be replaced by the user it, uh, for a day's usage of uh, 3g connectivity and uh, wi-fi connectivity and lots of calls and a few gaming sessions this device uh, this device lasted an entire day for me so i i came back i came, i went went to the office with around 90 95 percentage of battery time and when i came back home it was still around 60 to 70 percentage and uh, the next day when i woke up it was running at around 20 percentage so it has a very good battery backup and uh, it runs for more than a day on a normal usage so in my concluding words i would say that uh, this is a great device uh, a, a perfect buy a neat value for money so if you're looking for a great device which performs uh, really well and it doesn't cost and it which doesn't cost much the Xiaomi Mi 3 is a great, uh, great buy, and uh, right now it is uh, retailing at around 13,999, which I think is a good deal for a 16 GB uh, Snapdragon 800 processor uh, powered uh, device. So uh, the only issue which I have here is uh, the uh, grip of the device. So that's it. It's a great device. Uh, I would recommend it and. Uh, Thanks for watching the video and if you like if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to stay updated with more of my videos hit the subscribe and thanks for watching the video signing off Girizar.